chilling, you know. I want to crunch, you feel me? Like, as far as, like, working out. Despite the pain that I'm in. It's crazy. Just, like, I'm inspired, but at the same time, I'm, like, in my feelings, you feel me? Like, you know, I don't even be, like, vibing on feelings like that as far as expressing them in a way that I put it out on the public or whatnot, you know. Um, Kanye West's story does inspire me. And, like, the woes and trials and tribulations of life that happens. You know, uh, it's unexpected. We never really know what the universe will throw our way and uh, why. I'm grateful for all that I have and all that I will obtain in this life. All that I have now and all that are it, that is expected for me to receive. Um, I'm inspired because, like, not only am I a creative, but I'm a spiritual being as well. And I hold strong to the Christian principles that govern the life of Kanye West and, uh, you know, I have my ups and downs and I don't agree with everything that has been taught to me as far as, like, my upbringing and, like, you know, what being a melanated woman that's growing up, like, from the hood, you know, and the hood is like uh it's like the neighborhood, however it's more of a slang term that we use. But like I didn't grow up in like the projects or whatnot as far as like the government uh planting certain things in our society to uh motivate us and move us in the way that they want us to be like just like Kanye West said it's I, I we've exceeded that um and I didn't grow up in that and I'm grateful that like my upbringing was uh mediocre in a sense like not saying that it wasn't like like it's not wasn't the super best, but it was the best that my family can deliver for I. And like, I'm grateful for that upbringing. I'm grateful for the trials and tribulations I went through. I've could have I've could have been in better places is what I feel, but I needed it to be like cultivated as far as my character being shaped and like me becoming a woman like I needed that um I've been through hell I've been through a lot of shit and like I feel like based off of my emotions and my feelings not just right now but like yeah like I I can't even say like in the past but I'm saying like right now how I feel about it cause like I wanna let it go but it has a stronghold on me as far as like uh, how I move in life now because those experiences is where it's like traumatizing to me and I felt like I was like taken advantage of in a lot of a lot of ways but at the same time it's like I gave permission for these energies to you know do what they do as far as like to teach me in a harsh way because I wasn't listening to wisdom. Uh, I was, but not as much as I should have. Uh, now that I'm 33 and like, that number is like a master number. Uh, 
you know, three repeating itself and three, six, and nine being like the foundation of all life as far as like numerical on the golden rule, the golden number, uh, Fibonacci sequence, three, six, and nine. Like everything from our hair follicles on the pattern that it it actually creates, uh, like from the the pine cone and the plant life and snails, animal life, like everything that like we have going on as far as like what's tangible in this three D world, what we can see in this third dimension world, like what's at our fingertips is three six and nine. So anyhow, 33 is like the foundation. And to me, like, uh, doubling that 66 and 99 are very, like, powerful numbers. Because, like, any number that, like, repeats itself is more like uh, it's confirming that energy that a number represents or symbolizes. And three being like the base like I'm going through a lot of like things that like make me who I am and who I am purpose to be and uh I am aligned with the universe because like right now the universe is six and if you add three plus three that's six so like I know I'm great I know I'm purpose to do great things on this earth plane and the things that I'm doing right now is like uh, it's actually you know the things that I'm doing now is opening doors for me for my future and what I am purpose to do on this earth like I'm doing it I'm living in my purpose and I'm grateful that I've gotten here um I feel like I'm at a plateau, but I know I know like this is a part of my journey. Uh especially like seeing like what Kanye has went through as far as like uh what they say mental health issues and stuff like that or psychological issues, but it's more like it's not an issue. What is the issue anyway? Define issue. Oh, it's something that the masses deem as like not normal or unhealthy, you know, like, but the masses, like, come on, we all individuals, we all have our own fingerprints, um, we all are organic, we all are authentic, we all are peculiar, and even those who follow trends and follow out the other people, like, they actually have their own identity, because, like, even though, like, we're all one consciousness, like, we're all our own individual souls. And, like, I know that we all are great. And uh, all you have to do is wake up to the greatness that's with, within you, like, your individual greatness. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's easy to say words, but actions speak louder because people actually see it. The words, the thoughts, the first dimension manifested. And right now, like, this is a 2D thing with you guys, like, hearing me or whatnot. But the next step is 3D, which is the manifestation of the words that I speak. I'm great. I'm financially free. I'm peaceful. I'm full of hope. I'm full of joy. I'm full of love. I am love. I give love. I show love. I receive love. I spread love. My core is love. I embody love. And uh, I'm grateful for the life that I have right now. And I know that, like, I will continue to become greater in a sin because all I do is give out positive energy as much as I can. And Forgive me for those in my life or have been in my life, any connections I've made that, like, I've actually, like, dropped the ball or, like, stopped putting energy into or, or like, even I, I'm going to go and say that, like, I've, like, evaded people as far as, like, 
avoiding them because I knew I didn't want to commit to something that they probably asked me to do that initially I was like excited and amped to like contribute my energy to um, my time, my gifts, my talents, my creativity and everything that makes me who I am. Uh, it's just all love and it's a part of my journey and who I am. For I am eternally risen and I am continuously rising. And, uh, you know, I have videos that, like, I haven't put out because I wasn't so much secure and confident in, like, the message being actually uh, received in a way that would be, like, non-judging. And, like, because of the way I present myself in the public's eye, which is a woman of modesty, like the Proverbs 31, virtuous woman. Uh, I shot from sharing that side of myself and then to, to the point where I got uh, comfortable in presenting my personal life in public, which is like, honestly, I have my seasons, I have my, my moments. And because like of this transfiguration just as Yahshua or Jesus went through at 33 like it's coming out now like it's spilling over it's leaking out and it's like no separation it's like my personal life and my professional life is like one and people look at me as if like I'm an, an enigma which is like a riddle like I'm like uh, a puzzle that they're trying to put together but they don't have like the whole puzzle pieces or the vision on what the most high has put in me. And it's not just vocal, like it's it's spreading love and positivity for me because like I mean somebody who's been hurt has seen that side of life and um I've pretended for a long time to be like happy based off of what I've seen and what I know I should be like giving off as far as the energy I should be giving off despite what I've been through but like it is very true that like we have to go through uh hell to know what heaven is like and when you get to heaven and then like you don't want to go back you know what I'm saying like you you are balanced, you are a whole being because you have experienced hell and heaven. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, because I'm a Libra and I do subscribe to the characteristics and attributes of the Zodiac Libra and all the other signs and stuff like that, not saying that I'm solely, like, comprised of what, you know, that knowledge or or doctrine actually uh professes like i am i you feel me like um i'm not saying that yahshua didn't exist uh i'm not saying that he did exist you know what i'm saying like i'm saying that like my life right now is like a reflection of all that is for all our lives are a reflection of all that is and all that we like consume and you are what you eat like for real and I've been saying that for a long time and I've decided like to eat things that weren't like uh, that my body couldn't assimilate uh, and it, it became waste but it becomes dead weight and it actually influence your demeanor how you feel about yourself and like you know at any moment in time you can alter your reality by making a better decision or a decision that's uh, more dominant and um, I would say more positive but positive and negative don't really exist neither all is like an illusion because uh, 
God is not uh, just all positive. Like, the tree of good and evil existed because, like, it came from the source, which is universe or God. You know what I'm saying? Like, so good and evil has been experienced. And God knows good and evil. Therefore, God cannot just be good. You feel me? Like, evil exists because, like, is within the source, you know what I'm saying? So like the yin and yang, I have that on my forearm, on my right arm, because like, it's feminine and masculine. Like, we're not just like, yeah, I'm a female, you see me as a female, right? But I have masculine tendencies and I have masculine like energy. And I have feminine energy as well. And like, just because you see a female don't mean that, like, I'm just all female. Like, we are all uh, androgynous in a sense. Um, some more than others gravitate towards a certain energy, and they give off that energy that resonates mostly with them. And no one's wrong or right. And I'm grateful that, like, I'm able to express myself in a way that I honestly feel at this moment in time can be received by the masses because I am speaking articulate. I am being clear and vivid about my ideals, ideologies, and what I stand for. And, you know, I'm being genuine. I'm just authentically being myself. I'm being I, the I that I am, for I am that I am, meaning that, like, everything that you say that I am, according to you, I am, however, I am that really which, because I'm walking in my own shoes and my own vessel, I am that I am, which I, eternally risen, Marissa Flora Anderson, believe that I am and know that I am. I'm in love. I am love. You know what I'm saying? Like, the love of my life in the, in the room right now. And she's sleeping. And, like, I'm grateful for, like, all the people who I connect with. Uh, whether I feel it's a good connection or a broken connection is purpose. Like, everything is purpose in I don't know what this video is going to be yet because, like, I feel like I'm documentary my, document, doc, documenting myself as well, just as Kanye West did. But, like, I have a lot of videos that, like, I haven't put out because, like, as I'm maturing, and I don't want to say I'm getting old, but I'm aging uh, with wisdom. Because, like, you know, wine, once it ages, it becomes uh, better over time according to uh the human psychology of what wine does for you uh for your body and that's wisdom like i admire those who have like gray hairs or silver hairs you feel me like that's that's not uh in existence or that's not a reality that's not a reality for a lot of youth right now like people like myself some 33 year olds or youngs your youngs will not even see gray hair and like my friend who transitioned uh early in life he spoke it i don't even know this dude's sign like and to this day, I haven't, like, researched to try to figure out what his sign was. I need to. Probably after this video, I will. I don't remember his birthday or nothing. But we were very close at one point. And then we started drifting apart. And it all was for a reason. Uh, I experienced death, like, not very close to me. Like, even my grandmother, I stopped going to the hospital to see her 
because I knew she was about to pass. You know what I'm saying? And the most high kind of like signaled to me like she's about to go. But that even that made me keep my distance even more, like, you know, even more. Because I wasn't ready for that, you know. Like, you got to be prepared in season and out of season, right? Well, the most high, the universe prepared me because my intuition, like, the most high spoke to me, the I, the I am, spoke to me and told me, like, you know, this is going down, you know, life moves on and you feel me? Like, it's better this way and... I accepted it in the way that I could, like, everybody, like, uh, everybody go through things in their own kind of way as far as, like, dealing with it, you know, uh, you never know until you are in those shoes and... I don't remember if I was ever the one that really said, like, oh, I feel this way if this happened to me. But we are quick to jump and say how we would, like, do things as far as, like, dealing with certain situations, what our approach would be if we was in the shoes or had a certain situation that we had to go through. Uh, but, like, I'm strong in a lot of ways, but... Uh, when it comes to, like, death, I don't think, like, I'm cut for that in my youth. I'm not going to say now, you know what I'm saying? I have a, a detached type uh, vibe with me. Like, I can rock with you because I'm a Sagittarius moon. Like, I am very mutable as far as my reactions and interactions with people. I get along with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? I don't have enemies. I'm not into having enemies. For my actions are all love and harmony and peace and justice. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a diplomat. Like, I do subscribe to that shit. Like, because my life has reflected what the attributes and characteristics of Libra is and the Zodiac sign on the way they describe it. Uh, Anyways, with that being said, like, it's just, I'm going through a lot now because, and I say a lot because, like, to me, it's overwhelming because, like, all right, first off, I'm all about health and wealth and love and liberty and life, right? My foundation has been shaken uh, because health and wealth are suffering right now. And it's suffering because it's like, I'm starting over. It's like being a shift happening, right? And uh, I wanted this shift because I want financial freedom. I want freedom, period. It will have to be just financially, health-wise as well. I'm more open-minded to certain things because I'm in love and, like, I've been connected to my twin flame and, like, I'm on the path of, like, righteousness. I'm going up. I'm ascending. Uh and with the elevation, like, you know, there's going to be a storm. And once you get through the storm, like, there's sunny skies. You feel me? Like, clear skies. And sunshine at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Quote, unquote. Uh, you know, that's all I got to say. Because, like, I keep going. And the point that I'm, I'm attempting to get to may not be conveyed properly because I'm Still not there yet. I'm still traveling. Uh, my girlfriend did say, like, I like being a human. Because I know that I'm a spirit, a light being. You feel me? 
and like we in this vessel and right now this vessel is torn up uh from the accidents i had in 2021 and i'm just not really getting uh clarity and insight on what really happened because i'm in pain all the time and stuff so like i was drinking earlier because i'm trying to like numb myself from the feeling that i be having like 24 7 now because it ain't cool it, it's like it's spilling over into into my uh my means to make uh make money to live to survive and i have two children and yeah i'm doing the best i can with parenting uh i love myself i love the most high and i'm very much influenced by the christian principles because that's my upbringing and i still gravitate towards some principles that resonate with me uh for there's no right and wrong but it's like the universe not really telling me to pick sides but like like i said i'm being cultivated my energy has shifted multiple times and continuously i grow from my experiences and it's not a, it's not a coincidence that my first whole entire album of eight songs is ELG experience learn and grow so right now I am experiencing life I'm learning from my experiences and I'm growing and it ain't nothing but up from here so you feel me like whenever y'all see this if y'all see this y'all gonna be appreciated because I'm being genuine and authentic right now and then you guys will see the manifestation and the power of the most high and the universe and when you purpose to do something, and when you're driven by that, 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 you know, that power, that light that's within you that tells you, like, you are this, this is what, like, I purpose you to do. And that purpose, you feel me, like, manifests in, like, I'm doing the greatest that I could do and being the best, greatest version of myself, spreading love and light, and, like, you know, uh, shine my light to inspire other people just as Kanye West has done. And then y'all will appreciate this video. Much love and light. I say, I give thanks.